All right, we're going to do a two-point perspective of the same puzzle cube. So we've got a single-point perspective. You can see our vanishing point right here. This is what a two-point perspective of the same puzzle cube looks like. You can see we've got a vanishing point up here, vanishing point up there. We've got a horizon line. So let me go ahead and try to sketch this for you. Let's start with our horizon line. And that's just a rough line following the grid paper. That helps you to establish really where you're looking. I'm going to give myself a vanishing point up here and a vanishing point right over there. I like to start with an origin line, just a straight line about midway through. Now that I have my origin line, I'm going to connect it to the right and with some very light construction lines and I'm also going to connect it with the left. Okay, so you've got something that looks like a V. Now we can go ahead and make a vertical line to establish our front brick face. Then I'm going to connect it with our rear vanishing point, just like so. Now I can go ahead and make an actual brick. So I'm going to connect it right there, a little bit darker line. It goes to my vanishing point. I'm going to drop in, drop in a vertical right there. So now I have my actual brick. And you can see from there to there. I'm going to darken up my object lines a little bit more just to help me visualize. Okay, so I've got one brick in. Now next I'm going to do the back edge. So I'm going to draw another vertical and it is going to be the back edge of this right here. Draw in another vertical, connect it with the vanishing point right there. And then also I'm going to make a little bit longer vanishing lines like so. I'm going to say that it ends right there. Connect with my vanishing point. And I'm going to say that it's about that wide. Right there. So now I have my top square lined out. I'm going to darken it just so I can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to drop a vertical. Just like that. Now, drop another vertical over here. Go a little bit lighter. I need to get another brick in there. Now this other brick is right along this line. So I'm going to go there, drop a vertical, drop a vertical, connect with my vanishing points. Just a little bit right there. Darken up my object lines. Just like so. And I know our puzzle piece, you know, in our single point, these project out a little bit more. If you want to do that, it's completely cool. Um, to do a quick fix, if you'd really like, if it turns out not looking the way you expected, you can just actually shrink this a bit. You can make it a little bit skinnier up there. See how it connects there? Drop your vertical. Drop your vertical. And go a little bit deeper. 
That looks a little bit more to perspective. Okay, so now that I have all that done, I can go over my lines in pen, make them a little bit darker. If you'd like to use a straight edge for this, you absolutely can. Straight edge helps to avoid any shaky hands that you might have. Okay, once you're done with that, you're going to shade it in, and it will end up looking exactly like that. Stop this video, rewind it, replay it as many times as you need in order to get it.